Finally, someone let me out of my cage. Now, I'm gonna do this because I'm not in my hands. Nah, I couldn't be there. Nah, you shouldn't be scared. I'm good at repairs and I'm under your snare. Intangible. I bet you didn't think so I could. Before I even get started with this video, I just want to say this. F.T037, like whatever the fuck your name is, you're a fucking idiot. And I hope you see this video because some people should not have opinions on the Internet. Who the fuck in their right mind thinks that Suicide Squad is going to break any type of record in the gaming industry? And the fact that there's six other retarded ass niggas that agree with this comment. It's just so crazy to me. You know, one thing I find funny is that these game companies tend to just go backwards out of nowhere. Like, how do you go from making games like Batman Arkham City and Arkham Asylum to making bullshit like this? I don't see that. Out of all the games y'all could have made, y'all could have made a Superman game, which got canceled, a Batman Beyond game that got canceled. Hell, even a Justice League game where you actually play as a Justice League and you don't kill him. You decided to make this bullshit ass game. Who asked for this? I have never heard of one person on this earth ever say that we need a Suicide Squad game. Yet y'all make a Suicide Squad game. Man, they should have kept Suicide Squad just a movie and that's it, bro. I don't know why they decided to make this a fucking game. Nobody wanted a game of this. Like, why do game companies not listen to the people who actually buy their games, but then they'll turn around and make games out of ideas that nobody ever asked for. And then they get surprised when people don't buy their game and get mad. Like, I don't understand that, bro. Like, why are these game companies hella hard-headed and retarded? I just don't understand why some companies refuse to listen to their fan base. If you listen to your fan base, your fan base will be satisfied because you're giving them what they want. That's like business and marketing one-on-one. -on -one. And I find it wild, bro, that people spend $100 to play this game three days early. And this garbage-ass game had a game-breaking bug where you couldn't even play the game for one of the three days that you paid $100 for. If you pre-ordered the deluxe edition for 30 extra dollars, you were granted early access that was supposed to have begun, well, now. Unfortunately, a bug discovered right when early access went live forced developer Rocksteady Studios to pull the game entirely. Okay, so now you're probably like, well, at least I'll get my skins, right? Fuck no, you haven't gotten your skins yet. There are still people till this day that have not gotten their deluxe edition skins. And the thing that's even more crazy about this, if you get the skins, there are variants of that skin and you have to pay $24 to get all the variants and customization options of that skin. So you're telling me right now, if I want to get everything that the deluxe skins have to offer, I'm going to have to spend an additional $96 on some fucking skins? Man, if you don't get that dumb shit out my face...
Oh my god, if I come over here, I can increase the amount that I would like to spend? Fuck off! Who oh, added a color swap? A, a color swap. And you want $24. 24 fucking dollars for the same looking shit? Oh, $24 for pink and blue! Are you serious? It gets way worse too. Like the gameplay of this game is so fucking repetitive in the missions. The only missions that you do in this game is escort missions and defense missions against waves. The only fucking thing you do on this game is either protect Poison Ivy's plants, you also protect some data points, and then guess what you do after that? You find some civilians and bring them into a fucking bus and then protect the bus. And then guess what you do after you do all that? You do the same fucking thing all over again for hours and hours and hours. And it doesn't help that this game has very poor mission design. Speaking, I built this vehicle for stealth, eluding the skull ship's scan frequencies. Not confrontation. None of us are leaving Earth 2 without it. In the skies of Metropolis. He just appeared and stopped a missile targeting the skull ship. He is not on our side anymore. I, I don't know how the fight started, but... And this game's guns and combat all together is just so bland. Like, the characters that have special abilities that would make them, like, unique from one another, they refuse to use those, and they'll just stick to using fucking guns. Like, Captain Boomerang, he is known for using a boomerang as his main weapon. But on Suicide Squad Killer Justice League, his main weapon is a gun instead of a boomerang, which he's been using ever since his character has been made. And King Shark... King Shark has the literal strength of a demigod, but decides to use guns. Like, really think about how fucking retarded that is. Imagine if Kratos used fucking mini Uzis against Zeus. You would be playing that game thinking that shit would be stupid. And if you are going to have the characters use guns for the most time, at least let the guns be creative. Like, what the fuck is a Bizarro's death ray? When has Bizarro ever used a gun in his life? And then you got things like Bane's guns, a Bane gun set. When does Bane ever use guns in the Arkham series? Bane has never used guns in the Arkham series at all. These guns look so dumb, bro. Like, this looks like something that Fortnite would do. And out of all the choices, man, y'all are so boring. Like, this is so bland. Y'all could have used so many creative types of guns, like Mr. Freeze's gun or something. The Iceman cometh. Suicide Squad, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves, man. How do you let Avengers do a better job at making characters more unique than y'all? As bad as that game was, at least the characters were unique and weren't the same. All the characters on Avengers, bro, had all unique attacks that didn't make them all feel the same. But on this trash-ass game, all the characters feel the goddamn same. Besides the way how they get around the map. And if this game actually had a real melee combat system, then the shooting wouldn't be that bad. But this game's melee combat system is pretty much non-existent. And that's so crazy for me to say, because the Batman Arkham series is known for having one of the best combat systems of all time. And for it to fall off like this? I don't even understand how this even happens. And I almost forgot, another thing about the guns, they have all these different types of rarities to make it seem like the guns are different. But in all realness, the guns are the same, bro. They have the same feeling, no sense of impact. They have the same recoil pattern. The only difference that they have is that you might get a 3% credit boost or a 3% chance to inflict a type of damage. That's it. And the UI of this game is just absolutely horrendous, bro. Like You can barely tell what's going on I'll probably say 85% of the time where you're fighting on this game. Like, there's no way that you can really sit up and tell me right now 
that this screen does not look like an absolute clutter of just random numbers and just a whole bunch of random shit on the screen. This shit looks like I'm doing a calculus class in college or something, bro. Like, what the fuck is this? And this game's jokes and voice lines are just so fucking cringy. Like, they never just shut the fuck up on this game, bro. Like, all the jokes that this game has, bro, are not funny in the slightest bit at all. As honorable warriors, we will show proper respect to this fallen hero. Bye. Show a little class, man. That... Holy shit. Congratulations. Makes sense. The gods have cursed you in every other way. Ooh, gay ass nigga, shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, I ain't listening to you. Bro. You really mean to tell me that a bunch of these niggas sat at a table while thinking about cutscenes and they all thought as a group that they should have a cutscene where Deadshot, Harley Quinn, and King Shark make compliments on Captain Boomerang's dick? Bro, what type of weird ass shit is this, bro? What type of weird shit these niggas got going on with these games, bro? Like, fam, who finds that funny? Who finds it funny that Deadshot is making a compliment on the other man's penis? Like, how is that funny at all? There's nothing funny about that. That shit is so fucking retarded, weird, gay. Oh, bro, that, bro, that shit just hella gay and out of pocket, bro. And if you find that funny in any way, you're a fucking weirdo, bro. I swear to God, you fucking weird, yo, if you find that shit funny. <laughs> you look like you're buffering. <laughs> And don't get me started on the plot armor of this game and how trash the boss fights are on this game. This game has terrible boss fights. How are you going to have the final boss of the game, a reskin version of The Flash, the first boss you fight on the game? Just for fun. My name's Vril Docks. I'm the fastest man alive. Nigga! Don't even get me started on this boss fight. Like, this boss fight is just poorly done in so many ways. Not so funny now, is it, dickhead? And then the Batman boss fight. I will say this though, that was a pretty cool part, but the only thing that I didn't like about it is the plot armor that the Suicide Squad had. Big surprise, right? You mean to tell me that Batman in that building killed all the civilians and security guards, but when he gets to the Suicide Squad, he just knocks them out? Why is that? How does that make sense? How come all of a sudden Batman just wants to be a good guy now and not kill now? The plot armor is unreal at this point. Shit, no exit. We better. X. What is happening in there? Go look out for number I want, I guys. I am. But after that section, it falls off pretty damn fast. The next time you fight Batman. Rock said he thought it would be a smart idea for Batman to just stand in place and let the Suicide Squad just shoot him while he stands there and just throws fire at you and shoot laser beams. When has Batman ever done that? Weapons free, boys. He's standing right there. Yeah, and he's a big giant demon. No, fear the Batman. This game is so disrespectful to the people who enjoy DC Comics. 
and love these heroes. Because first of all, how is a Suicide Squad even touching the Justice League, let alone Batman? Like, come on, bro. Like, like let's be real. Like, what universe does a Suicide Squad beat the Justice League? And then the fact that they kill the heroes in such a disrespectful way, like they really throw Batman on a park bench like he's a bad little kid on Time Out and shit. Like, come on, bro. We're talking about the Batman that has beaten eight deadly assassins in one night. He already beat a version of Deadshot. He's already beaten Harley Quinn numerous times. The fact that this is one of Kevin Conroy's last performances is just so disrespectful in my opinion, bro. How do you let the greatest Batman voice actor get killed like he was a side character in a video game. It's not the fact that Batman dies. It's just the way that he dies, bro. How does he die to a character like Harley Quinn, bro? And then the fact that y'all try to do that little dumbass Batman tribute at the end of the game, like y'all just didn't just disrespect the fuck out this man too. Metropolis, we'll get through this. And Batman, Goodbye. He will be missed, but never forgotten. Officer Bowles. <laughs> it was a super big mistake to make this game in the Arkham universe, to be honest. I would have rather had just had Arkham Knight just been the end instead of having this fucking game be in the universe, because... You honestly ruined it, Rocksteady. You honestly did. But besides that, another thing that's just hella dumb about this game is how they even kill the bosses. They kill every single boss in this game with a fucking gun. How do you shoot Superman? Superman is just as fast, if not faster, than the Flash. And you mean to tell me that he can't dodge some kryptonite bullets? Come on, bro. And then the thing that's hella dumb about the Superman boss fight is that he doesn't even use his laser eyes. He just uses his frost breath. So you mean to tell me during all the cutscenes of this story, you see Superman spamming the laser beam eyes. But when he actually fights you during the game, he doesn't even attempt it once? That makes no fucking sense at all, bro. If this game didn't have so much plot armor, Superman would do two things the entire fight and two things only. He would spam the shit out of his laser eyes, first of all. Or he would just fly into him. He would speed blitz the fuck out of the Suicide Squad. Bro, this nigga not gonna be shooting ice crystals on ledges and shit. And then the thing that's worse about this game is that these stupid motherfuckers really believe that they can stretch this game out to the point where they think that the player will be around to defeat 12 more Brainiacs. Nobody's doing that. And the thing about it, you can't even fight the other 12 Brainiacs right now. You know why? Because you have to wait for the season pass so a new battle pass can come out. Nobody's going to be around, bro, if this game even supports its servers by that time. Warner Brothers and Rocksteady, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves and embarrassed. Your game has only been out for like a month, I believe, and is already more dead than Avengers. How do you barely have more people playing this game than Avengers? Avengers has been out for four years. The servers are, are off. And you barely have more people playing this game than Avengers. Really think about that. This game came out a month ago and it's already dying. Rapidly. And you guys think that you can keep this going for two to three years? To fight more Brainiacs? <laughs> Y'all niggas is funny, man. If you really think you can keep this bullshit ass game up, bro. 
Like, fam, y'all really had this nigga Green Lantern in his underwear, bro. Like, first of all, that's weird as fuck. Why are you putting superheroes in their drawers on the ground and shit? Second of all, why are you disrespecting heroes like this, bro? Like, I'm convinced that the people who made this game just hate superheroes, bro. And this game doesn't even know the lore behind these superheroes. It makes no fucking sense for King Shark to put on Green Lantern's ring. And one more thing, man. I can't believe that there are some branded ass niggas out here that think that this game is actually good. People are actually excited about the Joker. Oh my God, I almost forgot about that, bro. March, you'll be able to unlock a new playable character for your squad. Joker! Joker! <laughs> what? Hey, my nigga, shut the fuck up. Joker! Joker! Shut your lame ass up, old bitch ass nigga. See, I hate niggas like this, bruh. You always got these delusional ass fans that think every game gonna be good for some reason. He one of these niggas that make the craziest and most dramatic YouTube titles. Like, look at this shit I'm about to show you, bro. Real shit. Five features that prove the haters wrong. Even the haters can't hate on this. Joker reveal destroys the haters. Haters have the worst takes. Man, get your dick eating ass out of here, nigga. Oh my god, bro. Is dick riding all you do? No, I'm like, saying. You no. literally got that nigga dick in your mouth right now. I see it. This game is so fucking pathetic. This game is a slap in the face to DC fans. And it's sad that a game from 2008 has better performances than a game made in 2024. That's how you know your game is dog shit. Y'all niggas need to be embarrassed. This shit is so fucking sad and embarrassing, bro. How y'all letting Arkham Origins do better than y'all? And Arkham Origins is the black sheep of the Arkham games, bro. And y'all letting Arkham Origins do better than y'all. This game has only been out for a month and is doing worse than a game made in 2008. And y'all expect niggas to play this shit for two to three more years? Come on, bro. Let's be real for once, man. I hope the world can see now what's really going on out here because it's getting ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. Yes, man. It's, this is ridiculous, man. Nigga, I've never seen the Joker look like this in my life, bro. This nigga look like a cosplayer. This nigga look like a UK debt collector or some shit, bro. This nigga look like Machine Gun Kelly out here. What type of dumbass Joker is this, bro? But he's figuring out his place in this new world and this new squad. He hadn't reached supervillain status before Brainiac invaded. So, you know, he's still a bit less experienced. I think we've taken him back to the kind of more vaudeville roots of Joker. He's masking insecurities with traditional Joker behavior. <sighs> when has the joker ever been insecure about anything like i can't be the only person that thinks that this is so stupid like imagine in arkham city joker doesn't show his face because he's scared of batman making fun of his nose it's over joker give it up shut up batman don't look at my nose because i care what you would hardly think mr j hurt me some more that's it, Batman. I will be going on Twitter and Reddit and making posts about how much of a bully you are. Because, Batman, you are not nice to me, and I don't like that. Shut your bitch ass up, Joker. I'm tired of you being a little bitch. Boss coming. Boss! I will never understand how people can be so stupid. How garbage of a company do you have to be to admit that your game failed expectations? The real question I should ask, what was the goal that you guys thought this game was going to hit? Because I could tell you right now, this game wasn't going to do anything. Like, are you really trying to tell me right now that this game only has 65 people playing right now? What is that? Out of all the millions of people in the world, you mean to tell me only 65 people are playing this brand new video game? I am sick and tired of these games charging us hundreds of dollars for terrible products. I can confidently say to myself that Suicide Squad killed the Justice League makes me want to commit suicide. This is all making me so angry. I'm getting tired of this. And if you think this game is good in any way, you're retarded! Uh, 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 uh.
This place is dangerous. I like it. You expecting a kiss? Mommy! It was just... Officer Bulls.